we can see obviously Utri has the height advantage and the reach advantage, has on the age side, but Kaliste has maybe more of that wrestling build, a little bit squatter, a little bit stronger, not quite as long. Strong and tough and experienced. Exactly. And an MMA experience is, counts for so much. Well, introducing first the man fighting out of the blue corner, representing Georgia. 37 years old, stands in at 188 centimeters, six feet, two inches, 85.5 kilograms, with a professional record of 14 fights, 10 victories and four defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, your applause is for Georgi Felice! Well, here's a opponent in the red corner from the Netherlands. 31 years old, 196 centimeters, six feet, five inches, 85.9 kilograms, with a professional record of eight fights, five victories, three defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, the baby face assassin, Yusri Belharawi! Well, this LFL co-main event of the evening is scheduled three rounds of five minutes. Well, the referee is Mr. Niels Burskin. Here we go. I'm on the edge of my seat for this one. I'm expecting you three to use three long, long stabbing kicks rules, from distance at first. Fight. Shake hands if you like. Who's step back? Let's see if he does. He's got really long legs. He can stab with the rear leg or the front leg. And it'll be interesting to see how long Kalista allows that to happen or allows okay, fight is ready. Yusri to maintain fight. range before he shoots in and tries to get some sort of takedown. Yusri pushes forward, but not too forward. <clears throat> he wants the gap still there. Showing the, the, the kick there. See the hip, that's a yeah. little indication that you should be aware of it. And he's already, just for ring position, just pushed Kalista up against the cage, not giving him anywhere to go. And Kalista needs to do a little bit of lateral movement here and not just stand straight in front of Yusri, because otherwise he's going to get eaten up and chewed out. Russian mark kick there after that calf kick, and that's exactly what he wants to do. Show that threat up high, but take away all the explosiveness from the legs from Kalista, so the takedown threat is going to be less and less. And he keeps, he keeps offering the hip as if he's going to throw a front kick, which was what allowed him to throw that question mark up and around. The Brazilian arc. Nice jab to we've the body there from Usury. We've seen him finish a fight in LFL with body punches. Arguably one of the coldest no uh, knockouts we've ever seen on LFL. The way he just loomed over his opponent when he fell down was... Yeah. He's already got multiple wins by body shots in him. I it's a really good job at staying low. Oh, oh, the question mark kick again. He's so quick with that. And he'll take the arms, no problem. You know, if you block it, this isn't a video game. It, it doesn't just stop it. It's a kick to the arms. It hurts. Not even a takedown attempt yet by Felice, which is very surprising. Not a good calf kick there. He hasn't, Yusri hasn't given him the chance to even get close yet. And the overhand. Yeah, one way to get close is punch your way in, fall into it. Yusri so far, looking in control, just calm, collected. Yeah. To, to be able to use his wrestling, Kralice needs to do what Bogari is yeah. doing. Pressure him, put him in the reverse, because else it's going to be a long, hard night for Kralice eating calf kicks like this. Yeah, he's got Georgie a little jumpy right now, too, which is perfect for, for what Yusri wants. Yusri's just fainting, moving. He's measuring telling, the distance. He's just telling him all kinds of lies, right? Just showing him all sorts of... Oh, oh, man. oh, oh beautiful jab. stiff jab. And another. Didn't quite land as cleanly as the first one, but he's finding a home for almost everything he throws to at the moment. Oh, that leg is chewed up. Yeah. The jab sets up the low kick beautifully. One more, one more good calf kick and he's going down. 
There's a bit too much attentiveness from Kalitze here. He needs to move, he needs to impose his will, but of course that's right. far yeah. easier said than done when you've got a kickboxer of Yushri's pedigree. Yushri's just keeping that hot zone, hot. You know, that space between them feels hot, electric, and it's hard to pass through because you just feel the danger when you pass through it. And that but you have to pass through it because you'll get killed out here. Oh, the yeah. power in those That's kicks. One way. And that was his first attempt to take down Kalitze, but Kushri just pushed his head off. He was a little bit frantic. See that space between them, it's just, it's, it's a hot bubble right there, and it's very hard to get past it. But you must get past it because you cannot win out, out at this distance against Yusri. Oh, that <laughs> calf is hurting. My calf hurts. Oh. And you can really see Kalitze is not wanting to put much weight on there. If you can't see on TV, like from this yeah. angle, it's red roar, it's bruised, it's vicious yeah. and horrible looking. Yeah, it, actually we can see it in person more than on the screen. There, there it is again. again. Oh. This man is as tough as they come. Yeah, he sure is. Because most people are lying, in, they're in a wheelchair already in this fight so far. Just missed with a landing quick uppercut. And that's going to be the danger. Yushri, no doubt, has been working on those undercuts for thinking of Kalitze coming into rush in for a takedown. <laughs> what a spin back kick to yeah. the body. Beautiful job. He telegraphed the, the hook to set up the spin kick. Now yeah, the double jab. If you're Yushri, you want to be letting loose a little bit here. You've got a jumpy guy, you're in control of the distance, you're winning the round, but maybe you can take a great moment here. He's setting up his right hand. He hasn't thrown a lot of right hands yeah. yet, but I got a feeling he's gonna he's gonna throw it soon. The right the fake right kick is putting it in place for him. Oh, there's a left hook from Georgie. Oh, oh, oh there's the knee and there's the knockout! It's, it's, it. it's done! Watch for the knee. Hook, rotate. Now right here. No. High kick. There oh, it is. Oh, man. So sexy. Just. That is a sexy knee. And you know, th those are all clean shots. Yep. Ear from both sides. I'm perfectly here. done. Not putting the world of strength and her through it. Just controlled, accurate. Yeah. It was the front knee. The, the shuffle with the rear leg to launch the front knee. And he, he had no time to land it. He saw it and he, he, he lifted his knee up. Yeah. To, to see that opportunity. One part of two to start the finishing sequence with that. Beautiful oh, work. Magnificent. <laughs> and here we go. We have the official fight announcement coming up very shortly. <laughs> Oh, really? Yes. Oh, shit.
Well, first of all, big applause, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for both finals. Jokji, the Felicity, Yusui, and Harawi. And the winner, after 4 minutes and 59 seconds in the first round by the technical knockout, is the man in the red corner, Yusui, and Harawi! You need that guy so hard he wants a rematch, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, I think we have some time still, right? We can do another one right away, right, right, right away. Huh? Thank you for a great fight. You respect him, you know, he's a great, great soldier. He told me, like, you know, I wasn't done yet, and uh, he wants to do another one. So, uh, let's do Respect. Uh, that knee, you were, you were using long weapons from the outside, long punches, long kicks, and all of a sudden there was this little short range of... Tight little knee, just a beautiful, another beautiful finish for you. Thank you very much. Um, well, the thing is, I know he's dangerous. You know, he's a wrestling champion from the great wrestling, strong country of Georgia. Um, and I wanted to keep only long range punches and this. And I know maybe it was starting off a little bit boring, you know, because it's the first round. And I was gonna use the knees only the second round, you know. But then he started to push up a little bit. He came a little bit too close, and I was like, you know, let's just pull it up, man. And then I hit the jaw. Nice. Yeah, another elegant finish for you. Now, you've been very public that your desire is to fight in the UFC at the highest level. Another good finish like this. Do you think that's enough? Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Like, today was just, I didn't look past this fight, you know, because of his strengths. But uh, we'll see what happens, man. Uh, this is your moment. Say anything you want. Uh, you've earned it. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming out. It's a great, great pleasure that the MMA scene is growing in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam. Like, everybody that comes out, I mean, you feel like family, man, because, you know, we're all family in this sport, supporters and fighters. Uh, I want to thank my opponent for, for stepping in. I know it's dangerous. I felt one punch, and I think both my lips are busted up. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was ready, you know, for him. And uh, I'm happy we didn't get to test my wrestling. Because, uh, you know, it was, it was good like it was. I want to say one thing, you know, and we can't let it slide, man. Whenever we get the chance, we got to, you know, vocalize ourselves because the media, I think the media is starting to wake up a little bit and happy about it. You know, we see two sides now. But still, I want to hear you guys. When I say free, 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 free. And hey, this is not about being anti-Semitic. This is just about being human, yes? I love, I love all people, everywhere. But we can't let a genocide slide, man. Okay, I love you all. I love everyone in the world. Humanity is one. Peace. You stream Belgaroui. An excellent performance there from you three.